Hello, welcome to this again. You want to know what I mildly enjoy? The PS1, of course. You know, the history behind it is so neat, and I just absolutely love my one game for it. Driver 2 Disc 1. But man, I wish it was just a bit more powerful, and yeah, you know, a bit smaller too. Maybe I could fit it in my pocket, it has its own screen, and you know, make it portable PlayStation or something, I don't know. Shit, that worked. The PlayStation Portable, also known as the PSP, um... I never owned one until now, so... <laughs> or, you know, like, any Sony products at all. Instead, my family was pro Xbox 360 and Wii. But, you know, looking at it online and stuff, I always thought it was, you know, pretty neat. It came out right when Fruta Guerrero was being big, so it looks really cool. So I decided to buy one recently for this video. Also, I bought this from an American seller, and, you know, it shipped from America, and it was only after I bought it that I realized uh, it was Japanese. Yeah, I don't know how it got here. Luckily, the PSP, unlike literally every other console I can think of, uh, wasn't region locked. So you can play American games on your Japanese PSP without having to do anything, and it just works. Alright, let's pop this thing open. Alright, over here we have the manual and things, still taped up and sealed, and I'm not going to change that because I don't really have to. Along with a uh, charging brick, cable that goes with the charging brick, and finally, the unit itself. As well as a still sealed uh, microfiber cloth. I'm not going to unseal it because I have plenty of microfiber cloths, but hey, see what I mean by it looking really cool? This looks really cool. All right, let's plug this thing in and turn it on. Hey, there we go. All right, so I have looked through this thing already. Uh, it doesn't have any free games on it, unfortunately. Oh, wait, it does. Um, I have never, I don't know what this game is. I don't, I don't, hold on, let me, uh, yeah, this thing uh, is full of Japanese stuff, which is very cool, but also I don't know how to read any of it. <laughs> I recognize those faces. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, it's Dag Danganronpan. Dagon Ro Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that right now, uh, but it's it's that game apparently Sure, let's let's play it. Uh, I can't read that either. Uh, that's another thing that I can't read That's another thing that I can't read. All right uh, Sure easy. All right um, Hold on I can play from the school life part or the class trial part Um, I don't know this one Hello. Okay, someone's held hostage. What? Oh, is he about to get launched into space or something? What? The space trip? Well, he's off, I guess. Um, goodbye. <laughs> oh, we're going back down, I guess. And he's dead. This thing also has just like a couple episodes of anime on it. I have no idea what the shows are. They were added sometime in 2015. If anybody can, uh identify this. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, no. Is there music? Did they put some music? Oh man. So yeah, I would play some actual games on this thing, but unfortunately the only games I bought for this thing cause viewers with bakery-based usernames to sneeze, so uh, we're gonna mod this thing. Cause yeah, apparently the PSP has a pretty big modding scene and they've made some pretty cool stuff, so I'm gonna mod this thing and just, you know, see what kind of cool stuff there is. I also don't really want to use the 4 gigabyte memory card that this thing came with, so introducing the cheap memory card to SD card adapter. This thing feels like it's gonna snap at any minute, but hey, it lets me put SD cards into the PSP. Except I'm not sure if the PSP can handle 128 gigabyte SD cards, but I can get around that at some point. All right, I've put some stuff onto said SD card. Cannot be read, I need to format it. I'm gonna have to re-put on everything, dang it. All right, I've put the stuff on it again. All right, first up, uh, can it view basic photos? Hey, there we go, yes it can. Oh, it can't, it can't do this one. Probably because it's like 25 megabytes. But it can view all of the good kid cover arts that I put on it. That's neat. Let's see, uh, music. Oh, there it is. Hey, there we go. But can it play videos? Corrupted data and unsupported data. Dang. I don't know what file format this thing is supposed to be able to support, but uh, not these, apparently. Alright, time to mod this thing. Alright, I've got the PSP laid down here, and over here I also have Windows 7 computer, because I thought doing it on my regular computer on my desk would be boring, so... Here's this. 
PSP is down here, by the way. So I've got the web page for how to mod this thing pulled up, or at least how to install custom firmware. Please update to 6.61, which uh, I think I've already confirmed that this thing is running 6.61. Yeah, this thing is running 6.61, so we're good. All right, downloads. We got to download Arc 1. All right, we're downloading. All right, it's finished downloading, so... Let me open that up in File Explorer, get it extracting. All right, and we're off. All right, installation. Download the thing, copy the ARC folder to the PSP slash game folder. All right, so I do have the PSP SD card plugged in. All right, PSP game, All right, this folder. By the way, I should probably say this now. This is not a tutorial. This video, this is not a tutorial. I'm figuring this out as I go. All right, so it says remove the thing and plug it back into your PSP. So I'm gonna do that. All right. Oh, there it is. Arc loader. Go. Oh, it's doing stuff. Bin not found. Um, oh, that's because I'm an idiot and I didn't transfer the other thing. Oops. I need to transfer the save data as well. Again, this is why this isn't a tutorial. <laughs> because I'm an idiot. So now I gotta take this out. Put it back in the computer. Right, I need to put this in the PSP save data folder. This thing specifically. Okay, now... I can take it out and put it back in the PSP. There we go. All right, arc loader. All right, um, all right, now we're going. Oh, is that it? I think that was it. <laughs> I think it's done. Okay, you now have temporary custom firmware installed on the PSP. Going forward, you can make it permanent or leave it and check out the features. If your PSP turns off and you lose custom firmware, relaunch Arc Loader application again. I don't plan on reselling this PSP or anything, or like, oh, going online. Uh, so I'm gonna make this permanent. Any PSP can now use the CIPL method of making Arc 4 permanent. This is a quick additional step, so if your PSP turns off, you still retain custom firmware. You also have the ability to restore the PSP if it's soft bricks. Okay, that's nice. All right, I gotta copy more files. All right, PSP, game. I wanna put CIPL into here. Disconnect the PSP or memory card uh, and launch the thing, okay. So far this is shaping up to be a really easy modding experience. It's just like the Wii, you just stick some things on the SD card and it just works. CIPL flasher. All right, it says press X to install, so I'm a, uh, there you go. Oh. Well, that was fast. Well, well, there we go. So yeah, I'm gonna go and uh, look for some funny garbage, and I'll be back to take a take a pretty long look at them, hopefully. All right, I've installed pretty much everything interesting I could find. Um, I've probably installed them incorrectly, but uh, we'll see. So if I go into this games folder and click uh, memory stick. Yeah, I think that's- I think this is everything that I downloaded. Okay, this might not be everything I downloaded, because some of these are saying corrupted data. I don't want to figure it out right now, so I'm just gonna go through everything that actually, uh, installed. Alright, so first emulator, we got, uh, NES emulator here. This should work flawlessly. If you're able to play NES games on the PS1, um, I need to scroll up through this so I can find my folder. Alright, I've got Super Mario Brothers here. Okay, why is- Oh, this is... Why'd you have to make these the buttons? So I have to hold it like a crab. Hold it like a crab to play the game. Well, it is running, and it is running very well. Which I mean... Oh, damn. Incredibly easy to emulate console uh, is able to run on the little PSP. I also have Mario Bros. 3 on here. Which, again, should work perfectly fine. Or not? I think I'm frame stepping. Well then, I guess um, Mario Bros. 3 does not work. Back to ROM list, I guess. What about uh, Dr. Mario? Uh, so here's the thing. I, I, I'm not good at Dr. Mario whatsoever. Um, like, at all. At all. So um, I'm, I'm going to just try my best. And prob Oh man, I messed that one up. Um, okay, I want to get at least one thing. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm good. Alright, up next there is SNES. This should translate pretty well to the PSP, because, you know, it's pretty much the same thing as an SNES controller. In fact, I can get an example. Here is an SNES controller. As you can see, the button layout is pretty much the exact same. The only thing that the SNES controller is missing is uh, the analog stick that's at the bottom. And yeah, so it should, 
Should be a pretty seamless conversion here. All right, I've got Super Mario World on here. We're gonna see if this runs. You can barely hear it, but it is it is playing music. It is playing the music. Well, yeah, it is running. It's running perfectly, actually. From what I can tell. Look at that trick shot I did. I jumped off Yoshi, hit the flagpole, and then got back on him. I am just the greatest video gamer. Oh, that's a neat transition. We're gonna try Super Mario All-Stars. And from here, we're gonna play Super Mario Brothers 3 because it didn't work on the SNES emulator. Well, it is working. I don't feel any slowdown or see any slowdown, so I mean... Oh. Yeah, now for the thing that's probably not gonna work. Uh, Yoshi's Island. It uses some super effects stuff. I'm pretty sure, so it's probably not gonna work very well. Ooh, that's some... That's a really good frame rate. Bad start. I can't tell if it's supposed to be running. I, I can't tell if it's running slowly or not, because it's a cutscene. Alright, and we're, we're going. It, I, it feels like it's not running at full speed. Unless this is just how Yoshi's Island is. I don't think this is... yeah, no. Alright, now we have, uh, N64 emulation. Uh, I have some... I don't very... I don't have very high hopes for this one, honestly. Alright, we're gonna start with Super Mario 64, obviously. It's doing something. Why is it stretched like that? <laughs> There's also no audio. Alright then, I guess we're dealing with no audio. Not the end of the world, but like, man. Well, I mean, other than the fact that the audio is just straight gone, it looks like it's working just fine. I also don't like how it's, you know, stretched. Oh, that's how you adjust brightness. Okay, then I guess I'll keep it like that. Oh, yep, here we go. It's Super Mario 64. I will say one thing, I don't really like the analog stick placement of the PSP. It's just kind of odd and kind of uncomfortable. So yeah, uh, Super Mario 64 uh, does run on here. Question is, how do I get back to the uh, menu? I might have to just straight rest. Oh, there we go. Okay. Edit preferences. Can I change the screen size from there? Audio enabled. Synchronous. Well, I think I know why audio was disabled by default. It kind of lags the crap out of the thing. Yeah, no. I'll put it to asynchronous. Maybe it'll sound better. Yeah, this is a whole lot better. The other thing I have here is Dr. Mario 64. It was mainly a fallback, just in case uh, Mario 64 worked really badly, and I wanted to try a 2D game, so uh, once again, uh, I suck at Dr. Mario, <laughs> so... Uh, uh, but it also seems to have crashed. Like, fully crashed. I can still do that. Well then, I, I gotta force shut off the PSP. I hope that's a thing you can do. Oh, great. <sighs> gotta pop the battery out. <laughs> Alright, the last thing I have for emulation, we got ScumVM, which lets you emulate point-and-click games. Um, and using this, I can play the greatest game of all time, hopefully. Alright, I would like to add a game. There it is. It's frozen. I think it's just loading. I hope so. I'm gonna just wait a little second. Yeah! Heck yeah. Alright, I gotta get to the funny part as fast as possible. I don't know what the escape key is, ma is mapped to, so I can't I can't skip the, the scenes where he's just moving. There we go. Here. Except I can't actually uh, do it for very long because last time I did a modding video and played this game and played this song, it uh, copyright claimed to the video. So, um, I can't really, you know, um, yeah. And that's, I'm sure that's all I can play. But very cool that I can play this portably now. Ignore the fact that there's a mobile version, and also ignore the fact that there's a mobile version of Scum VM that's better than the mobile version of the actual game. Alright, time for the funny games and stuff that I downloaded. Uh, first off, Terraria. Alright, single player. 
It's got the music, that's right. Hey, there we go. Um, maybe. There we go. This is really loud. Holy crap. All right. All right, how do I get to my inventory or something? I don't know how to get to my inventory. Something tells me there's no inventory in this game. I can place glass. I don't know how to get to my inventory or anything, so something tells me that this is literally the entire game. Apparently, I have zero wood, dirt, and stone, but I don't know how to actually, you know, break anything. Oh, that's how you do it. You just... Okay, you literally, you literally just, you know... There you go. How deep of a hole can I dig? Oh. Well, I guess I'm gone, I guess. Yeah, uh, let me out of here. As well, we also have Cookie Clicker. You literally just click the cookie. Next up, we have Geometry Dash. Because, why wouldn't there be Geometry Dash? Heck yeah. There's a mouse cursor. <laughs> yeah, I'll do percentage and progress bar. Full version. <laughs> we do have... Oh, hey. Uh, I'm gonna do um, this one. I'm gonna make it purple and red. Nope, orange, I guess. Alright, all right. they have all the way up until can't let go. Except here's the thing with Geometry Dash music, um, most of it I can't play because most of it is copyright claimed on YouTube. Alright, I've done some research and I don't think Polargeist will give me a copyright claim, so we're gonna play that, I guess. I mean, yep. It is Geometry It is Geometry Dash. It's very loud, but oh man. It is Geometry Dash. It's fairly, fairly decent for a Geometry Dash port. I mean, I'm trying to turn down the volume, and I keep pausing the game and it kills me. Let's see, how well does the... I'm curious how well the ship um, controls, because usually Geometry Dash recreations and ports can't really get the ship right. I don't know if this level has a ship portion. Oh, there we go. It's... Okay, it's a little funky. I don't know what the cube is doing. For the most part, it's pretty okay. It's not the same, of course, but I mean... I also don't think it's synced to the music, so, um... Oh. So yeah, that's, that's pretty decent port. Alright, up next we have Five Nights at Freddy's. Because, of, of course. Alright. Alright. Okay, that's how I do that. Alright. You know, I really don't want to play a full night of FNAF. And it's FNAF, which is pretty much just a bunch of PNGs, so I mean... Uh... I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop. I mean, it works. It's a pretty decent port, so... Monopoly! Now, of course, I'm not gonna play a whole game of Monopoly on my PSP in this video, because, you know, that would add, like, another 20 minutes to this video, so, uh... Oh! It crashed anyway, so never mind. Instead, we're gonna Rhythm. This is a music production software, technically. I'm just gonna place random stuff and hope it sounds good. Well, it's not playing any audio. I have no idea why it's not playing, and I don't feel like figuring it out, so, uh... Alright, up next we have, a uh, Minecraft. Some somebody put Minecraft on the PSP. Minecraft PSP. English. Single player. Greenland. Hey, there we go. Alright. Oh, that's how you turn your head? Okay. That's interesting. Oh, why is it... Ew, why is it left trigger to break blocks? And how do I jump? How do- how do- how do I jump? Oh, it's select? You know, this is very impressive. But, man, this thing- this thing controls horribly. At least I can break a tree. This is a win. This thing also has a really small world size. Yeah, literally, that's the edge of the world. That's the edge of the world. <laughs> oh, alright, yep, I can craft. Nice. Cool. Okay, I now have a pickaxe. I can finally dig downwards. What in the world is that pickaxe animation? And also, something tells me there's not cave generation in this. Uh, I'm gonna go back up. Let's see, what's the height limit on this? Man, it already unloaded. And also, uh, I've run out of blocks, so I'm just, uh... Damn. And now we have Doom! Because, you know, whenever you're doing something funny with a thing, Doom. Alright, how do I turn? Alright, there we go. Alright. There's no music, which is very sad. But hey, it's running. There's also, like, there's also no zombies. Did they just forget to implement any of the monsters? Seems like it. <laughs> Alright, time for the final game I have to try. Truly an innovation in gaming technology. Quite possibly the greatest game of all time. Homebrew Sorter. Oh my god. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And thank you to my channel members Corbin Nickel, RH Cookies, Luke Davis, Fubar, Gap the Gamer, Car Purge, T89, Jim Krista Dulo, Smoke Dingus 98, Television Uploads, Erky, Premium Sean TRG, B Door XDDD, Huang Fan, Vlad 9407, Cool Gamer, It's Alex 0612, Solar Restart, Marie Barkley, Winder, Celestiners, CZ3Chia, Orange 729, Wendell Cartoons, Odd Bike, Venery, Timmy the Protogen, The Very Lol 30, Insert Name Here, Shine GD, DC, FC, FT, G, R, F, R, F, S, T, E, F, D, F, F, The Aim 21, Hello Yun Ho, Stecco, Windows 98, SE, Whale Tech, Ramstick Samurai, Happy Supper Fan, Pie is a Pie, The Potato Enjoyer, Aiden, Jacob Skyblocker, Henry Beat, Orson, Gamer Gamer Does Tech, Nobody, Scarlet, Melody, Pikachu, Pokemon, Kim, A User, Normal Roblox Player, It's Just Jay, Tomas, Mr. Muffin, and I, Maurice, and with that, I'll be seeing ya.